been an almost fairy tale story for Vasco de Gama this season, and nine points with nine goals in the past three matches illustrates just this point. However, home side Blumford and Celtic are unbeaten at a home ground that has become a fortress in recent seasons. So, good afternoon and welcome to the Cesar Ramabudu Stadium in Manaung, Bloemfontein, for this meeting for the very first time in the histories of both Bloemfontein Celtic and Vasco da Gama, of course, newly promoted from the National First Division last season. And what a start they've had to the campaign as well. They might have lost their opening two matches and a draw against Free State Stars in match three. But then they beat Bitvest Vets, they beat Amazulu, they beat Kaiser Chiefs, they beat Maritzburg United in the last three matches. Vasco da Gama on a bit of a roll as things stand at the moment. And in the Celtic side, of course, just looking at some of the problems that they're having. Hey. Kalala, somehow, for me, has not come into the party at all. He's playing the position that uh, Olomo would have played for most of the time. And uh, he's not really been into the game much. The ball falls nicely over here. And again, there's an opportunity. Kalala knocks it away from the goal after making Corsa at Tested Omni. It's a really good pressure to play again. Not the greatest of defence from Vasco da Gama. Great goalkeeping out oh, very quickly to close the angles, uh, Boston and Omori. from both Bloemfontein Celtic and Vasco de Gama in the first half but unfortunately not the same amount of creativity right in front of goal as the first half ended Bloemfontein Celtic nil Vasco de Gama nil this of course the first meeting between these two sides in the Absa Premier or in any cup competition really on the balance of play both sides might have had goals so far but as the match progressed Vasco de Gama did have some wonderful opportunities but I think that's it just Blumford and Celtic that really ended the first half a little stronger and perhaps that's what we'll see them coming out of the blocks quicker than the visiting Vasco de Gama side at the beginning of the second half. Five against five, Clela goes wide. Alamu. Gave it to the goalkeeper. Another brilliant save by Posner Domoni. And from there, it was anybody's. Pinpointed cross initially by Chenene. Falls on to Spandel, who gets a good shot, and goalkeeper blocks it. Bodies thrown all over the place by Vasco. Because the three minutes that were ended on by the referee have elapsed. There's a Lamu. Don't forget there was an injury to Isaacs, though. Spandiel sets himself up with a chance. It's not a bad effort at all. With his left foot. You've got to be impressed. It's the final shot of the match. It's a great way to end. A thrilling encounter. First meeting between Bloemfontein Celtic and Vasco da Gama. And it was goalless at half time. A goal to each of the two sides in the second half. I'm not really sure if uh, Clinton Larson will be happy that his uh, team lost the advantage when they held it through the Clela goal after 71 minutes. But Kaki fighting back to make it a 1-1 with six minutes to play before the end of stoppage time.